Hey guys, what's going on? Jake here, and welcome to our first sprint rate of race of the season in the F122 Alpine career mode. So, today we have Imola, the sprint and the race. So I'm very excited for this. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted to upload this in two parts, if I'm going to be completely honest, which I might do to get more videos out. So, um, yeah, maybe. But, um, yeah, let's... Um, get into qualifying basically and on our first run of qualifying here we are we're a bit scruffy <laughs> everywhere considering this is like my first lap on this track in quite a while um we exceed track limits there obviously it won't gain as much won't gain as much time um and uh we're gonna head up to the line here we are gonna set what well, seems to be an okay lap time, it's going to be the fastest is a 17.2, we set a 18.5, which is not the worst, but I was looking at it here, and we were 8th at the time of that lap time, so I was like, you know what, we'll save some tyres, we'll just skip to the end of the session, so we don't go out, glitched AI, AI times, and we go 19th, only losing out to Nicholas Gotifi. So I was very disappointed with that, unfortunately. But yeah, we are out of qualifying in Q1 for the first time in the Alpine career mode. But we still have practice to do and we get some decent R&D points getting 660 with Fernando getting 450 himself. However, there could be a spanner in the works here as in the sprint race towards the end. There is predicted to be some rain. The race, however, is looking dry. But yeah, let's just get on with it and hope for a miracle. So it's all about speed in today's sprint, not very many laps and no... Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have... Perez, Sainz and Sir Lewis Hamilton and Russell. Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, and Lando Norris. Magnussen, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, and Albon. Joe, Ricardo, Nicholas Latifi, and Sebastian Vettel. Cox, and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum... So then, boys, it is sprint time here. Aiming to get near the top 10 for this sprint qualifying session. We're just going to go on mediums. We're going to run low fuel. If we run out of fuel, it is what it is. We're starting towards the back as it stands anyway. So, yeah. Let's get started, boys. Let's get this formation lap underway. And, uh, yeah, let's hope for a really decent race, actually. Because we are going to need it if we are going to have a good Grand Prix. So let's see if we can optimise this grid position here. We're going to be starting just behind Vettel and Latifi and ahead of Lance Stroll. And, um, parking, yeah. Sure the so there we go. We get a decent grid position to start off with. As you, can, you can't tell, boys, but I'm actually, um, I'm actually, like, trying to play at the same time, boys. It's Grand Prix later. So I want to get this video edited quite quickly, but it's five lights and away we go. Getting a really good start, but getting ahead of Vettel, the TV, and going around the outside of Ricardo. However, into turn one, we're on, um, we are on the outside with nowhere really to go. You have to try to stick around the outside. Latifi just comes across and decides to go high. And then we get on the gravel here, so Latifi overtakes us with a little bit of contact. So at this point, I was like, okay, Latifi, calm yourself down, so... And, uh, yeah, so then we go wide again, trying to go around the outside of Latifi, and we send up the inside of him and Joe Guan Yu, and almost going into the back of Alex Albon. And on the exit, Latifi's coming back at us again, and I just wanted Latifi to go away at this point. I was so done. I just wanted Latifi to get gone. Oh, I was so annoyed. But we get ahead of him, even though he turns into us, and that is going to be a pretty decent start into P16. 
Uh, so, so yeah, that, that's not a bad start, you know, and we're already closing on to the back of Alex Albon, so we're just going to be patient in this race. We're not going to rush things too much, and we're just going to hope for a really decent result today. So, yeah, right, and I was being really serious about the not rushing it thing, boys, because um, the next time we're going to be close to Alex Albon, well, we say close to him, but the next time we're going to have a chance for a move on Alex Albon is lap 4 onto 5. Where we are just going to take, and sh we are now used to the track, obviously, so we are just going to take our chicane beautifully as always. And we're going to close in on Alex Albon using a bit of ERS there to get really close to him. Now we need two pretty decent exits here. First exit is very nice. Second exit, can we get an even better one? Yes, we do. Get on the power nice and early. We're going to drain the ERS here to get past Alex Albon. And here we go, in the slipstream, activating DRS, using ERS. Not in rich mix, because that's not a thing anymore. But here we go, we're going to go switch right to left on Alex Albon, a little subtle move, and we are into P15 behind Daniel Ricciardo, who is uh, struggling in his McLaren. But moving on to lap 6 now, Daniel Ricciardo is in our crosshairs, we get a very good exit, Daniel Ricciardo doesn't get a decent one, we're going to easily get past him here, we're not even going to have to use any ERS I don't think, we're just going to get up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo into turn 1. And up ahead of us, they're having a monumental battle between Magnus and Norris and another car. But we get past Daniel Ricciardo. And ahead of us, Norris, someone's spun. And they've held up Norris and Magnus. And we've gone ahead of both of all three of them to basically make a quadruple overtake in three corners. And into P11. Jesus, and now onto lap seven. I, I was going to be very happy with this position. But Lewis Hamilton's retiring from the Grand Prix with a mechanical failure. And you know what this means, boys? Safety car time, which is going to get us right on the back of the Alpha Towers, which means we could have a chance at P8, which is points, boys. Which is points. And I only turned safety car immersive back on after this sprint race, boys. So that is my bad. But yeah, as you can see, the grid rundown here is Verstappen from Perez, Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, Alonso, Bottas, Gasly... Sonoda, myself, Magnus and Ricardo, Albon, Schumacher, Joe, Stroll, Vettel, Hamilton, Norris and Latifi are all out of this Grand Prix. And uh, yeah, with the safety car ending, boys, we're going to get our control back in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to try get a move on Sonoda pretty quickly here. We need a decent jump on him, though. I don't know what we're doing there. Don't ask. I, was, I don't even know at this point. But yeah, the AI was warming my tyres up pretty nicely. It's so not going to have to do any tyre warm-ups. So yeah, let's try and get a good exit out of here and time the safety car restart well, but we don't. We almost run into back of Sonoda as he launches off. So it's not a great run, however, we're going to just drain our ERS here, which we have 100% on, so we can just do that as it is the last lap. We're going to drain it all here on this straight, and we're going to make a dive on Sonoda down the inside, getting our nose in there, so he has to leave us the room, and we get the position nice and cleanly. And now we are going to chase after Pierre Gasly in the other Alpha Tower for one point. The only other points paying position in this Grand Prix is from P1 to P8, and we are P9, so if we can get Gasly, we will get a point. So we're going to try and get as close as we can here, maybe try and make a move, a little dive into the chicane perhaps, or maybe we're going to make a move later on in this lap, maybe towards the end perhaps, but here we are now, we get a pretty awful run out of there, we have a bit of a step on the back end, but yeah, heading into this part of the track now, we run really wide. And however, gain time on Pierre Gasly, which is strange, but then we, we lose all. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine because this chicane is where we make up the most time. We're really aggressive into there. We run wide again. And at this point, I was like, you know what? Let's just drain all the RS boys. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make the biggest send of my life. We're just going to send it on the inside of Pierre Gasly from miles away. We bang tires. I hit him and everything. I just wanted a point, boys. And we're going to... There's no illegal overtake, apparently. No forcing the car off track. And we get a point in the sprint let's go all right race over take care of the car on the way in off the back of a fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race world champion max verstappen starts from pole position Sergio Perez lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Sainz, George Russell, and Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Cox, Gasly, and Kevin Magnussen, Sonoda, 
Ricardo, Alex Albon, and Mick Schumacher. Stroll, Joe, Sebastian Vettel, and Lando Norris. Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the... So yes okay, boys, starting P8, um, with getting driver of the day and a point in the sprint, we're going to be starting behind Bartas and my teammate Alonso. The aim today is to get into 6th position. Anything else is a bit too much for me, I'd say. But yeah, let's try get 6th place. But yeah, head on to Gridia. Let's see if we can get it optimal. Can we? Can we have our best grid start so far? 0.2 okay, metres, that is the best we've had so far. So yeah, sorry about that, I was just Keep having to tweet quickly. But yes, boys, five red lights for the Emilia Magna Grand Prix. You know the words, boys. Oh, and it is lights out and away we go. We get a really nice start compared to Alonso and Bottas. Alonso might get jumped by myself and Bottas, but Alonso boxes us in with Bottas and we have nowhere to go. I'm going to try to look around the outside into turn one, however we make it the inside. I don't know why we skip so much there, but we are into P6. I don't know what happened, don't ask. I think my recording corrupted. But we are into P6. We must have switched the inside and made the move on Bottas and Alonso. But now we have... A pretty close gap to Russell, actually. Could we maybe stay with George Russell? Maybe even make a rockus with the Mercedes cuts. Because I think that, personally, would be pretty neat. Okay, the start was fine. Let's try and move forward. Uh, whatever you say, Sunshine. And as you can see, boys, we have a lot of wear on the engine. And Bottas is here on lap 7 now. And we are just going to let him go past us. We're not going to easy our ass. He's in a faster car. We're on hard to soft strategies for today. So we're just going to let him past us. We're not going to put up too much of a fight. And that's going to be that. And obviously our first two, uh, the first chicane and then this corner here. The AI pulls like two, three temps on me. So, yeah. And then moving on to lap number, the end of lap nine now. And it is going to be, for the second time in three races, Sebastian Vettel retiring with an engine failure. Here's some information on Vettel. Then the inevitable happens. You know in the Haas career mode, I had the game crash to Imola. It happened again around lap 10, 11. And, uh, yeah, so the game crashed, boys. And we had to restart. But basically, we got ourselves back into P6. But this time, we went for a really medium to soft strategy. So I think you guys are going to be jumping back into the action on about lap 12 to 15, perhaps. But, yeah, the game crashed. And instead of just giving up and retiring, I kept going. Got myself into P6 like I was before. And we went mediums to softs to be risky, boys. But yeah, on lap 15 now, uh, my teammate is in, who is ahead of us. And we are going to take the lead of the Grand Prix provisionally. Let's go, boys. We are finally leading a Grand Prix again. Uh, but that doesn't last for too long, though, as on lap 18, Max Verstappen is right behind us. We have a really poor exit there. In a bit of oversteer with these really worn tyres now, pushing 60% on the rear right. And we are just going to not use too much ERS. We're just going to let Max go by. I mean, we won't be able to keep up with him. He sets the fastest lap. We let Max Verstappen go by. And that is that. Uh, then moving on to lap the lap 19. We have Charles right behind us. I don't want to get in the way of the championship battle. So I just let, off, let Charles pass. And we leave that as it is. So we don't want to get too much in the way. No sign of Paris who started P3 though. But we ourselves are now in P3. And uh, on lap 20, we come into the box. Can we get another per optimal turn in? I mean, it's pretty easy to get. You just go under the, the one second. And you'll pretty much be optimal every time. And it is a 2.4 second stop. So very good. And we are going on to soft tyres for what is going to be 11 laps. So we're going to be pushing these tyres very, very well. Like, considering the mediums only did half that. Only did double the amount of time. And they were on like 60%. These tires are probably going to be pushing 60% as well. Right, we'll we'll so, we probably today. should have gone hard. But I just wanted to get this race over and done with. Because I'd already done half of the Grand Prix to start off with. But yeah. Moving on to lap 23. No, 22. This is. We are now behind Kevin Magnussen. 
Um, we've just come out. We are closing in rapidly on the three cars ahead, Alonso, Bottas and Magnussen. Now we've got Magnussen up ahead. He's going to be our first target. And we came out of the pits. We did a warm-up lap. We got within two seconds and then we went for a faster slap. And this faster slap, boys, it gained us like one and a half seconds on the cars ahead. So I guess you can't really say too much. So, um, yeah, we are now within the RS of Kevin Magnussen. And across the line, we set a fastest lap of a 119.1, I believe it was. Yes, it was a one. It was 119.2, my bad. But yeah, we're closing on the Kevin and Magnussen here. Fresh tyres, DRS, ERS. I'm going to make a bit of an aggressive dive into turn one. Magnussen doesn't turn in on us, and we are in to P8. Behind our teammate and Valtteri Bottas. Now on map 24. Go a bit wide there. Got Bottas just ahead. And we make the dive into the chicane. We get the move done into P7. Brilliant. Nice move. So yeah, basically we just have a continuation of this clip. As on the same lap, we are now closing in on our teammate Fernando Alonso. This will be the highest we can get in this Grand Prix. As the cars ahead are 20 seconds ahead. And... Um, yeah, Fernando Alonso, we don't, we get a similar exit to Alonso, but we've got DRS and ERS, he has got nothing, we're going to drain the ERS here to get ahead of our teammate, who should make it easier for us, because Fernando, uh, Cox is faster than you, Cox is faster than you, because I go by COX, not the other one guys, so I'm dirty minded, but yeah, we get the move on Alonso around the outside, and up into P6, and now moving on to lap 30, we, um, we were only six times ahead of Bottas up until the chicane, which we take really aggressively, which allows us to keep P6 for now. But yeah, heading on to the final lap now. Coming out of the chicane, we've got Alonso right on our tail. Our soft tyres have completely died. We're on like 74% on the right rear, and then we've got 65 to 70% on the rest of the tyres. And now coming around the final corner... Here we get a really, really bad snap of oversteer. We correct the car and Alonso's going to be right on us. It's going to be a drag race to the line between the two Alpines and we just about pip Alonso by under a tenth to get P6. Let's go, boys. Red Bull puts up an outstanding fight for the... So then, it's time to see how this so yes, boys, P6 in the race, uh, Fernando Alonso getting P7, and then in the sprint we got P8, Fernando got like P7, so overall over this weekend we got the same amount of points as Fernando, um, who apparently got third in the sprint, which I don't believe. But, yeah, it's just whatever, really. But, yeah, in the championship, boys, we finally, finally going to lose the championship lead to Max Verstappen. Only by, like, a couple of points. No, actually, is it by a couple of points? I don't know, actually. Are we still in the lead of the Drivers' Championship? I think we are by, like, a couple of points. And then, in the Constructors, we are now behind Mercedes, I think. So... Yeah, we're going to, going to try and confirm ourselves as the fourth best team. So now heading back into the menus, we've got two air upgrades and a durability upgrade on the way. So we are going to probably make a powertrain upgrade after we've fitted our new components because we do need to fit new components. It was very risky in that race. We had a bit of an engine issue. I'm not sure what it was because it wasn't anything like ERS glitch or DRS glitch or uh, we didn't get put into lean. So we are just going to take three new components and we'll probably take a new gearbox for the race after. Uh, as well, but I don't know if we should take on for Miami. I'm very, very concerned about it. We are going to head back into the R and D now. We're going to make a powertrain upgrade, probably on ERS because I do need more ERS. It's pretty bad like, how fast the AI are, so we just need a lot of ERS. And um, yeah, we're going to make a chassis upgrade as well. Are we? Are we going to make a chassis upgrade? I don't think so, actually. So, yeah, let's it. Oh my God, both our upgrades failed. I, I'm fuming. What? Really? Both error upgrades have failed coming into Miami? Oh, that is disappointing. That means the progress, which probably would have got us just behind Mercedes, has been lost. And we failed two upgrades. Oh, dear. 
Oh, no, man, that's so disappointing because, you know, we're going to get on this uh, upgrade anyway, but we need to go buy these two first, which means you can't even buy the chassis upgrade now. It's disappointing, guys, it really is. We, It would have been really nice. We I mean, we can get a chassis upgrade, but we can't really make any powertrain upgrades now. So, yeah, it's just a bit disappointing, boys, but thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time out for Miami. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and next race, let's try get a really good position once again. See you next time.